So where are we going, Sean? Uh, we're going to the Brimfield Flea Market. Really large flea market. We're going to get lots of stuff there, hopefully. And there's hopefully lots of cameras and stuff that I can buy. Take a bite. I feel all right. And finally, we got some time stuff. The flower car. Feel is ready. Hey guys, Sean here, and today I went to the Brimfield Flea Market. It's a really big flea market outdoors with like hundreds of booths and lots of really cool stuff. And mainly I was looking for Thomas merchandise, so I'm going to show you what I got today. The first thing I got was the 2013 Adventures of Thomas. This one, Thomas and the Stinky Fish. I don't even know what this is from because in 2013 there wasn't really an episode where Thomas got covered in fish. Paint Splatter Thomas, which is just a redesign of the 2005 version from Calling All Engines. And Winter Wonderland Thomas, which is also a redesign from the 2005 version. Yeah, I still don't have the 2005 version of Adventures of Thomas. I don't have I don't have the original Paint Splatter Thomas or the original Winter Wonderland Thomas, but I hope to find it in the future. The next one I got is the Fishy James and a Fish Cargo Car. This version of James is exclusive to a set called James's Fishy Delivery that looks like this. And the booth that I got it also had some other pieces from that set, like the, the mountain and the boat dock, but I only got the James. Putting three whole fishes on the side of James, Mattel is really good at making exclusives. And finally, Ertel Birdie. This is one of the like most common Ertl items, but I didn't have it, so I had to pick it up, even though it's missing the front tires. And here is the last thing that I got. The Ertl Wellsworth Station Carry Along Playset. Look at this, it's, it's massive. Opens to a large 38 by 15 and a half place surface. Created by Rick Siglico, I actually met him. This is what the back looks like. Wellsworth Station Carry Along Playset. All of this stuff, crossing gates, ramp and tunnel, collects all the different Ertl items. I don't have Edward, Gordon, Donald Douglas, Boko or Daisy, or Bill. So this is what it looks like. This is the turntable. It's still sealed, it's never been opened. That tape is still there. These are the crossing gates. This is the a rooftop. These are gates. This is another rooftop. That one goes right there. Here's some stickers. Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends logo sticker. This is something. I'm gonna put this on my car. Here's a sticker for the turntable. A sticker for, I'm guessing, the outside. And this is all the stickers for these buildings. Front, side, peak. Turntable side, Toby's Tunnel, Harold's Heliport. And here's something that I got off of eBay recently. The 2017 version of Ferdinand. Yeah, 2017 was a weird year for Thomas Wooden Railway. It was the last year for Thomas Wooden Railway, the original version, before Mattel killed it and replaced it with Thomas Wood. But also they redesigned a bunch of engines. For some of them, they just made the face smaller. In other ones, they completely redesigned them. Like. This is Ferdinand. Just to compare and contrast, this is the 2010 Ferdinand, and this is the 2017 Ferdinand. All the different decals are like completely redesigned. This is a white, white window, and this is a black window. That one. Yeah. This one, this whole bottom piece is plastic, but on this, the plastic only goes up to here. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. And these are the two tenders. Not that much different, but this is different color. Yeah. And I also finally got the Percy's Ghostly Trick Glow in the Dark slipcover. Came with this, which I already had the Percy's Ghostly Trick DVD, but now, now I finally have the Percy's Ghostly Trick Glow in the Dark slipcover. 
Oh, and I also went to another flea market called the Yankee Flea Market in uh, Palmer, Massachusetts. It was all indoors and there was a lot of cool stuff, so let's show you all the stuff that I got there. I wonder how many of these got sold. Funko Pops of the character of some luck. Yeah, do you remember luck? So here is all the stuff that I got from the Yankee Flea Market. First up is the 2002 Bertie. This is a version of Bertie that I didn't have. This one has a new face and no passengers in the windows. Right here is the original version, and as you can see right here, there's a guy smoking a pipe, and I guess kids just didn't want that in their Thomas toy. And also I have the Mattel Bertie. So here is every, ver every main release of Bertie. I also got the Sodor fuel tanker in Wooden Railway. I already had a version of the Sodor fuel tanker, but this one, the wheels are dated 2000, and this one, the wheels are dated 1997. I also got Take Along Emily. This is in really good condition, and the main reason I got this is because this is my childhood Take Along Emily. Yeah, almost all the paint is gone. I don't actually remember like how it got this way. Compare and contrast, yeah, it's just night and day. I also got Take Along Toby for mainly the same reason, because this is my childhood copy of Toby. It's not as damaged as Emily, but on the bottom, the middle wheel is just broken off, and this one, it isn't. And also something very special, the Brio Theodore Tugboat characters of George and Emily. Yeah, I've never seen these before. Well, I have seen them on the internet, but I've never, like, found a place to buy them. And also, you could turn the hat side by side and it moves the eyes. And finally, I got this movie theater, storybook, and movie projector. And the main reason I got this is because it actually has Brenner era episodes instead of, like, the crappy ones. Thomas and the Emergency Cable, Thomas the Quarry Engine, and Not So Slow Coaches. It just has pictures from the episodes. And uh, it comes with this thing. See that there's like slide images in there. You put it in there and then turn this on and then project it into a dark room. So let's test it out. So that was all the stuff that I got at the Brimfield Flea Market. I hope to go next year and I hope to find more stuff next year. So I'll see you then. Oh, and if you wanna see what my brother got at the Brimfield Flea Market, click this video.